Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Mr. Tie-Dye. Today we're going to do another one of these mostly white rainbow spiral hoodies. I've had a bunch of people ask about them and they want just the, the little lines on here in the rainbow colors. And I did one up, uh, actually it was on 420 during my tapestry giveaway. And it still had way more color than what I wanted. That one I squirted the color on with the dye bottles and I'll post a picture here. But that was way too much color for what people were asking for. So I decided to do it again and I have a different process I'm gonna do. So let's get started. So what I have here is a hoodie that's been soaked in soda ash. It's been spun out so it's just barely damp. And we're just gonna twist this up into a spiral here. I like to start with my hoodies face down because that's gonna put nicer lines on the front of the hoodie because the front will have the nice smooth surface where the back side is going to be a little bit bumpier uh, as we twist the, this up. So anyways, that's where I start. And then I usually try to start about in the middle of the chest here. And what you want is just trying to arrange all of your pleats nice and neatly here. You don't have to be super picky about it but I just try to get everything to kind of lay in there nice and smooth get as many of these creases up on top as I can so just twist it all up it's always a pain so I usually just try to kind of line it up the best that I can here and just squish it in with the rest of it Next thing I use my cuticle pusher and I just try to kind of straighten out some of these pleats on here because like I say what we're going to dye is just the tops of all of these creases here. So if there's any of them that have pieces laying over top of the, another crease I just try to open that up a little bit and get as many of these creases pulled up to the top as I can. Okay, there's that, and then like I say, on this side here, we got nicer pleats just because that was face down. But you can still adjust that a little bit if you need to. And now the next thing I'm going to do is draw my lines on here. But we're going to dye this a little bit differently. So, I'm going to just draw a few lines on. And I'm going to draw the lines down. I usually just come, come down here to the end and draw a little bit of a line underneath. And that way when I flip it over, then I have those same lines on the top. Let me get some gloves and we'll put some dye on this thing. Get that centered. Okay, and now what I'm going to use is just my primary colors, and I'm going to, and it just, it's not thickened dye, it's just regular dye, and I'm going to use a foam brush to paint it on with. So whenever I'm doing that, usually I'll just squirt a little bit out here on the table. You can get a little dish if you want to, but it works just as well to squirt it on the table. And then I'm just going to go in here and just add that dye right along that line. And then I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to do the same colors on the other side. And it's just easier to do all of the yellow all at once since I'm squirting it out onto the table here. Now 
The main thing, if you pour uh, some dye in just into a little cup, the main thing I advise against is pouring that back in with your dye because this brush has touched the hoodie that has soda ash on it. So it would be just a tiny bit of soda ash, but if this soda ash goes into this bottle, then this dye is slowly going to be activated and it will slowly die on me. <laughs> it won't produce the, the darker colors over time. So it's better to pour out just enough that you're going to use. And if you have a little excess left over, then I say just pour it out rather than pour it back into your dyes, just to be on the safe side. Okay, so there's for the yellow dye. I'm going to wipe this up and we're going to put the next color on. So I'm going to start with a new color. I got a new brush here and we're going to do the just same thing. Just put out a little bit of fuchsia dye there. And we're going to go right next to the yellow. Okay, now to get just a little bit of purple, I'm just going to touch this edge just a little bit. And that'll add a little bit of purple in there. I got my green in. There'll be a, a bit of a dark orange. So I'll have my full rainbow palette in there. Plus a few <laughs> spots because I hit one of the strings. I try to pull these strings out of the way. Oops, I'm getting a little bit too much turquoise there. Got distracted. So I'm trying to hit just the edges of this fuchsia here, but it did add a little bit more turquoise there. And then I'm gonna go back with the fuchsia. I got a little bit too much turquoise in there on the purple edge. So I'm just making some adjustments now. You don't have to keep going back and doing this, but this here was too much turquoise on this side, so I want that to be purple. And same right here. So I'm just putting this over top of that turquoise edge. Okay, and that's going to be my mostly white rainbow spiral hoodie. So we're going to let this bat for 48 hours and then I'll have the results for you guys in about two seconds. Thank you for watching.